what is the right organizational structure. Today there is a fad. The structure is not important. We need network organizations, communications. Not true. It's a big failure. Because you have to know who is accountable. What do you expect from whom? Otherwise, it's happening in a way that is unpredictable. And the unpredictable result could be something you really don't like. Yes, we need network. We need communication. We need teamwork. But we still need to know who is on the left, who is in the right, who is in the front, who is in the back. Otherwise, how are we going to play soccer or football or any game, participative game? So what is the right structure? What you want is an organization that is going to achieve short-term results because it needs to survive. And at the same time, preparing itself for the future because the future is going to be different from today. That's called, by the way, planning, but be careful. Planning is not to decide what to do tomorrow. That's called dreaming. Planning is what to do today in light of what tomorrow is going to be so we can prepare ourselves today for tomorrow. So you need an organization structure today that is short-term oriented, efficiency and effectively oriented, and at the same time prepare itself for the future. Don't mix the two. Because the principle, which you know from personal life, I'm pretty sure, that if you put together long-term and short-term, what are you going to pay attention to first? To the short-term. You're going to say the long-term, we'll do it when we have time. Let's finish this first. And you know what happens? Very often you never get to the long-term. For the short term, or squeeze the long term orientation out of the picture. So you need to separate the two, which means what is long term? Marketing, research and development, new product development, industrial engineering, which is design is the production line, human resources development, finance, finance should look at the long run. You should separate those from the short run, which means Separate marketing from sales. If you put marketing and sales together, marketing turns to be sales support. It's not doing marketing. It's not looking at the long run. Separate production, new product development, and engineering on R&D from production. Otherwise, engineering will end up doing maintenance, supporting the short run. Don't put finance and accounting together. Because either you will have creative accounting, which finance looks at the future, and it will mess up the present, or you will have a company that does not look at the future. Everything is in the present and accounting is time is you. And the same thing is true for human resources. Human resources administration is not the same like human resources development. You need to separate. Now, if you cannot separate because you're too small of a small company, too many vice presidents, the CEO should take the long run view, responsibility for marketing, for finance, for product development, research and development. And the COO should take care of the short term, complementary team. Some look at the long run, some look at the short run, and they work together. That is the right organizational structure.